Hi guys and welcome to .NET Mastery, the ultimate learning resource for .NET developer. In this video, we will see how we can deploy our .NET applications on MyWindowsHosting.com. Deploying on Azure is always straightforward, but sometimes you face issues if you are deploying on some third-party hosting like MyWindowsHosting or GoDaddy. I prefer my Windows hosting because it is one of the cheapest available platforms out there and it has great service as well as support. So let me open up my Windows hosting.com. They have 60 days of free trial on Windows hosting without credit card. So you can directly click sign up here and then you need to fill in all the details. Once you enter all of the details, there is a column here for Affiliate ID. I will highly appreciate if you could use my Affiliate ID when you sign up. And we will sign up for the free trial. Then we need to verify our email. So we can see we have received a confirmation email. Let me confirm that. We will have to enter our user ID and password right here. So let me log in again and that should confirm our email address. After we do that, we have the main hosting panel here where you will see all of the hosting accounts in one place. We have the product name which has 30 days of free trial. So let's hit try now and then we have to give a website name or a folder name for our website. I will call this as learn.net and we'll select the next button. Then we have a summary here. Let's hit submit and that will process and create the hosting platform. It will take a couple of minutes to configure our hosting platform. And perfect, our configuration is done and it is redirecting us back. We will come back to all of this, but for now, let's switch to Visual Studio. Now before we work ahead, what I want to do is we want to create a brand new project with database. So how can we do that real quick? We will create a new project here and let me select the ASP.NET Core web application. I will call this as sample project and we will create this. Now here we have few options on what we want. I am selecting the .NET 5 here and MVC project with authentication. When we select authentication, the database will be configured. So that way we don't have to spend time on that configuration. Let's hit create and see what the project looks like. Inside the project, we have the data folder. In there, we have application DB context, which uses the identity DB context which will have the tables. Then if we take a look at appsettings.json, I have the default connection as my local host. Let me test this out. I'll go to Tools, NuGet Package Manager, Console. And let me examine the migrations. It already has the Create Identity Schema. So here, we just need to hit the command Update Database. Once we do that, let me switch to SQL Server and try to find out the project. It is ASP.NET Sample Project. If we go back, that is the database name and we did not change that. So here, if we examine the tables, you can see there are multiple tables here. So now if you run the application, let me do that. And let's register. We have email, password, and confirm password built in right out of the box because we selected identity authentication. If you enter an email and password, it will sign you in. Great, you can see we have a register confirmation. We can just click here to confirm the account. Then let's try to log in with that email and password. And you can see the login is working as expected. If we go back to database inside the ASP.NET users, select top thousand, we will see one record for the user that we just created. 
So you can see our application now has database integrated. Now the next task is to deploy this on my windowshosting.com. So let me close this and switch back to my windowshosting.com. Here we created a hosting account. Let's go to the control panel. We have the learn.net which is the website. We will go here and we will turn the site off if it is on. So let's turn it off because we are adding a deployment here. Then we will have to go to the files and here it has created a folder name which is the same name as our website. So in here we will actually have to publish all of the code. But we also need a database. How do we get that? For that we'll go to the database and we will select the MS SQL Manager. Here we will select add database. With the free trial we can create one database. So let me call this as .NET Mastery and password. I'll call it admin123 star. Let's submit. Great, our database has been created. How do we push migrations to this database? Inside a main project, you can have DB Initializer, which will automatically publish the migration. But for our case, that is not true. So what we'll do is let me get here to connection string and copy the connection string that they provide. We will copy this, close this, go back to our application. Let me comment the actual connection string and let me add a default connection. And let me paste the connection string that we copied. Perfect. We have the data source, initial catalog will go, we have the user ID and we just need to enter the password. Password, as I said before, it's admin123 star. So make sure to configure this. Now, how do we access this database? We can do that from SQL Server or inside the My Windows Hosting. If you click here, they have directly the Web Connect. With Web Connect, it will automatically populate the name, username. All you have to write here is the password. So we'll write admin123 star and you can see it's connected. We see our database. In there, we have tables. Right now, we don't have any tables. So let's push our migrations while we have changed this connection string. So we will go to tools, NuGet package manager, and we will just run the command update database one more time. This time, the connection string is different. Let's examine what happened. Perfect, it's done. Let's go back here and click on tables. Now you see all of the tables have been created here. So our database has all the migrations that it needs. We now need to deploy our project to my Windows hosting. Of course, when it comes to configuration, this is not the ideal way. The connection string, you will be adding that inside the production.json and you'll be configuring all of that in a real application. But the focus of this video is to show you how to deploy a quick project with database on my Windows hosting. So once we have this, we'll go to Solution Explorer, right click on the project, select Publish. We do not want to deploy to Azure, we will publish it to a folder. Let's hit next here. And this is the folder location inside bin. Let me copy this and hit finish. Let's publish this and let's open the sample project location. And right here, let me expand this. We will go to sample project bin release net5 and it is publishing in there. Let me copy this and see what that path is. Yep, it's inside the publish. So right here, our application has been published. How do we take this application and publish it on my Windows hosting? For that, let me go back, right click here, send to create a zip file. Let's go back to my Windows hosting now and we'll go to our account. This time we'll have to go to files. We'll go to the learn.net and let me remove this default.asp. 
and we'll upload. Let me go back and copy the path where we have the publish folder, paste it here, and we have our publish folder. Let's upload that. Perfect, it has been uploaded. Let's unzip this inside learn.net. Once it gets there, let me select the publish and we actually have to move this outside of the publish folder inside the root directory. So we will select move to the main folder and let's hit submit. We can delete the publish now. And great, that's all that you had to do. Let's go to our website now and make the website live again. So we'll turn on the website here. And now this is the temporary URL that they have provided. So we can go and browse there. And perfect, you can see our website is live on a URL. Now this is only a temporary URL. If you were to buy a domain name, you can directly link that domain name to the website right here. So you can see how easy it is to deploy your application on a third-party hosting like mywindowshosting.com.